Okay, so here's my idea of how to take advantage of the fact that I live in Seattle now and make a little money. This is just a business idea. I don't think I'm actually going to do it. But the people who were into grunge in the early 90s, you know, in their early 20s, are now of an age where they're starting to have a little disposable income. I'm talking to Paul, by the way. That's why I'm not driving. He's driving. So I can use a camera. Anyway, they're starting to get they got a little extra money grunge tours where you come to Seattle and they take you to all the special places in grunge history that um, are significant. Like, you know, this is the recording studio where Nirvana's Bleach was recorded, or this is where, um, you know, I don't know, I have to do some research, I suppose. But today, we're going to the place where I think the, the 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 seminal piece, the seminal group. They were only they were just a. Uh, well that, hey, that's good for the lighting. Here. Temple of the Dog. Two members from Soundgarden. Two members from Fishbone, I think. And Eddie Vedder got together and did a tribute album, and they made a great music video. It was filmed at Discovery Park, which is where we're going today. First stop on the tour de Grunge. What do you think of this idea, Paul? I think it's an awesome idea. I'm looking yeah. forward to it. All right. Do you think people would pay money to visit the the places of grunge history? I suppose if you made it interesting enough, they probably would. Do you think yes. someone's already doing this? I don't know. You said, I was wearing flannel before flannel was cool. This is, this is I quoting Paul Kieber. I, I was. That's because my mom dropped it. Cool. <laughs> you know, one thing I've noticed about Seattle, and people here who live here will admit this, is that every block there is a teriyaki shop. I don't think I ever saw a teriyaki shop in, in all of the Bay Area. It's Chinese food. Here it's teriyaki. Or as Paul calls it, teriyaki. It's a giant golf ball. Okay, we think we're getting close to where they shot that video. Surfboards attached to the bottom, man. West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River. Life is wounded, older than the trees, younger than the mountain, blowing like a breeze, country road. Take me home to the place 
I belong West Virginia, my mama. <laughs> Thank very you. good. Very nice. What's another John here? Denver one that was so popular? Why can't I ever think of it? I knew, I used to know, sunshine on my shoulder. That's it. Yeah, but I don't remember how it goes now. Well, that was cool. We just played for these old ladies behind us. There they are. I'm going to try to get them on indiscreetly over my shoulder. <laughs> so, these two cows were, um, Standing on top of the hill, one cow turns to the cow and says, so, so what do you think about this, this, this bad cow disease? Bad cow, bad cow disease? What do I have to worry about? I'm a helicopter! Woo! So if, if there are tour boats that take people past Bill Gates' house, then there would be tour boats that would take people past like the house where Kirk Bing allegedly you know, committed suicide, or you know, this, is where, this is where Chris Cornell lived, or you know, Mud Honey played here, or you know, whatever. Right? Absolutely. Right. I think there's a market for that. I don't know.